Staring up the night sky, I am inspired each night to learn and discover what is out there, what is here on this planet, to learn and to teach what I discover and to share my awe, my excitement, and my interest in these things and try to inspire other people to want to learn just as much as I do about these things. There are planets out there where it rains fire from the sky because of the temperatures and the way the planet is. There are planets out there that have multiple seasons due to not the tilt of the planet, but the orbit of the planet around the sun and how it gets too close during summer and too far during winter, but ha hits the habitable zone twice for three and a half months each year where life may exist. We can look at the past with the dinosaurs, the Precambrian creatures, the early fish, mammals when first evolved. All of these things, all vast various different things along the past. And see the bones, see what they most likely look like. And we're still discovering new things like that. We're now just realizing that yes, Dinosaurs had feathers, which is, was what we expected, but we're actually now showing this for sure. And all the other amazing things in the past. And to me, this is what is really exciting about our past and future. You have quite possibly one of the oldest living fossils known to man deep beneath the ocean. You've got lakes under the ocean. Muscle fields are completely sustained by methane, nothing to do with sunlight. You have the animals in Africa, North America, South America that are just amazing and we still haven't quite discovered that we're just now realizing that most snakes are venomous. And that even quite a few lizards related to snakes are venomous, despite what our original thoughts were, which is quite amazing. This is just on Earth. We don't know what there is in the universe, what planets we may discover that have life on them, that we may someday travel to or discover. We are discovering planets that are made entirely out of water. We're discovering planets that have inhabitable zones, possibly. No, we're discovering thousands of planets over the last few years. And we're discovering more every year. So what most of these we'll probably never see in our own lifetime, but it's exciting to think about what might be out there. Even in our own solar system, we have Europa, which may have oceans underneath the ice that could support life. Mars might have very basic bacteria still deep under the dirt where it's still warm. We don't know about these things. We don't know what is out there. And this is where we're going to be going to next, I believe. Next. Once we're ready, we'll be leaving this planet and exploring the universe, traveling to other planets, other solar systems, other galaxies, and maybe even beyond, discovering for ourselves and becoming travelers of the stars, becoming wanderers of what is beyond the knowledge and wisdom and ideas that even our most intelligent ancestors would have ever imagined. What are ancestors back during the days of Babylonian Judaism, even the Roman Empire, have imagined that our planet is just one small part of a much grander, larger universe. But whatever else out there is there for us to find. These are why I live, and why I don't give up, why I don't let myself go into despair, because there's so much for us to discover, so much for us to learn and find, and this is not even just going into the idea of helping each other, you know, we need to get past boundaries and, and beliefs and stuff that separate us, we need to work together to make this a better planet, to help each other, and to mean something, because it's not going to be found in a book, our meaning is what we give ourselves and what is important 
My meaning for my life isn't the same as anyone else's, but it still has meaning. So when I go back to the looking at the night sky, I think about these things that I've spoken of here. I think about the future, the past, and where we're going to go, and have hopes and dreams for humanity that we will grow past all the petty differences and problems that we run into now, and hope for the future. Because as the wizard's seventh rule says, life is the future, not the past. And this, I believe, is important for us to remember that as much as we can learn from the past it is to the future that we must now look